Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is May the 23rd, 2021. And um, I want to actually start with just guiding everybody in a short meditation, just to get everyone present and then and get myself present as well so we can start the channeling. So please all just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. And continue to breathe in and breathe out according to the rhythm of your own breathing. And every time you breathe in, bring in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that does not support you to be in this moment. Let go of any thoughts that is taking you away from this moment. Let go of any thoughts that's about earlier today or things that you may need to do tomorrow. Just be here right now. Allow your body to start to relax. And as your body become more relaxed, shift your focus into your heart. Just gently focus on your heart area. If you feel like, you may even put your hand over your heart if that assists you in focusing in that area at all. And you can actually imagine that you are breathing into your heart and breathing out from your heart. Your heart is at the middle of your being. It plays a central role of being alive. So use this breathing into and from your heart to assist you in becoming centered to yourself, allowing yourself to be open to be open to life. the more you become open to life, paying attention to what life may be bringing you. You become open to receiving
open to what life is guiding you in whatever direction that is going to assist you in becoming more authentic in bringing out who you truly are. We used to think that life is full of hardship, full of challenges. But in truth, that is not what life is supposed to be. Life wants to give you all that you desire. It really does. I know you may not trust me or even believe me when I tell you this. That life, the universe, is actually here to assist you. That is not because life is not here to assist you, nor that the universe is not here to, us, to support you. It is just that you don't understand how much life is actually here to support you. You don't believe how much the universe is here to assist you. Your paranoia, your fear, your habit of hanging on to things that did not work or things that did not match up with what you think of as success. What you think of as success is not what the universe think of as success. You and the universe are not flowing together. You and the universe seems to be going in different directions. But in truth, what is going in different directions is within you. Because of your lack of understanding of yourself, you didn't even notice that you have been working towards one direction while you're trying to walk in completely opposite directions. You have been going against yourself. You wish to experience joy, but somehow 
you seem to be particularly attracted to people who only knows how to bring sorrow. It is not because those people are there to deliberately bring you down. It is just that the unresolved in your heart, in your heart that you have buried so deep within you that you've forgotten that there is a part of you that is festering in darkness. There's a wound in you that has not been healed and is festering in darkness because you don't want to look at it. You simply want to keep going in the direction that you think is going to bring you more joy. But you, the authentic part of you, the part of you that truly loves you and wish for you to grow. To learn. To experience your full potential. That part of you. you have been begging for you. Have been praying for you. Have been doing all it can to alert you to the part of you that you have hidden that is festering wound that needs to be healed. And it is this part of you that is festering in darkness. That hooks in the people. And that will assist you. to look at the darkness within yourself that you still prefer not to heal. That part of you is like a part of you like your left foot there is a blister there but instead of taking a rest to attend to it you insist on running this marathon and then going after the next one. 
and you couldn't figure out how come it hurts, how come it's painful. In your mind, you are thinking, it's just a blister. I can just keep going. Overlook it. I will look after it when I get to the destination. You forgot that the destination is in this moment. You are your destination. There is no other destination. All those to-do items, all those marathons that you have been using to distract yourself day in, day out. And for what? They are simply distractions. Distractions from yourself. There is no other this no other destination. You are your own destination. Within yourself, you are the one that defines joy. What makes you happy? You are the only one who can define that. You are the only one that defines what is sadness. No one else can define that for you. You are the only one that defines what is worthy. And you are the only one that defines what is pointless. Is why you, you are your own destination. When you can choose how are you going to define What is success? What is joy? What is worthy? When you can choose that. And you can define that for yourself in this moment. And define that you are worthy. You are joy. You are love.
you already have all of that within yourself. You don't need to chase after them. There is no more marathons. There's no more distractions because you already have it all inside you. When you decide that you already have it, What brings you joy will come to you. What brings you success will come to you. What brings you love will come to you because you already have it. Because you already have it, the universe has to give it to you. It has to support you. Running after is really another way of saying that you don't have it. Trying to do something be somewhere, have something in order to feel worthy. It's actually you letting the universe know that you're not worth it. And the universe supports you. It brings you people that agree with you that you're not worth it. You already have it within you. Do you feel it? We wish for you to actually feel your brilliance. Feel your worth. There is no one outside of you that is worth more than you. There is no one outside of you that has more love than you. You are the personification of love. You are success. You are here. You are alive. You are already successful. no one else convince you otherwise. You deserve all the support. That the universe, heaven and earth can give you 
No one else deserves it more than you. You have it all along. You simply do not realize it. And you've been trying to look for it. You've been trying to earn it. You've been trying to prove that you're good enough for it. You are your own destination. You already have all of that. All that you need. All the love. All the support. All the success. You are the most worthy people in the universe. You can stop trying to earn it. You already have it. You always have it. You simply were never told that you have it. We would like to share with you this evening that you are worth diamonds. You are worth your weight in gold. You are worth your weight in diamonds. You are the most worthy person in this universe, each and every one. You're the most successful, the most loved. The universe spared no expense, spared nothing to support you. Nothing was held back to support you. Everything and everyone that you see around you is here, is in your face, is communicating with you interacting 
with you for the purpose of supporting you. Let that sink in. Everyone is here to support you. Everything that anyone ever has communicated to you, with you, is communicating for you. It is entirely up to you how you want to use, how you want to define. What all of these communication mean for you, you are the one. If you truly, truly stop to think and start to feel, start to feel all of that support. Everyone outside of you is simply a mirror for you to see what is within you. You want it. You desire to know yourself. And the whole universe supports you by holding up a mirror to allow you to see what is within. Integrate that. Feel the love. Feel that unconditional love and support. Feel that love within yourself and allow that love to be so complete. Let 
all around you. All the mirrors around you has to reflect that back to you. What love do you hold within yourself? We shower you with love. We can shower you with all the love. We can shower you with nothing but love. And yet with all the love around you, if you don't love yourself as well, this love cannot penetrate. Because we love you so much that we will not violate you by pushing our love on you. The love that you have for yourself is a measure of how much love that the universe can reflect backwards towards you. You are the one You are the only one Who can decide How much love You can receive You are the only one who can decide how much support you are able to handle. You are the only one who can de decide how much success will you claim. We love you so very much that we will honor, we will surely honor what it is that you are ready to let in. So empty yourself 
of all of those restrictions. holding us at bay. Know that you have the love already. You are the success already. Allow that innocent joy within you Allow yourself to receive all of that and know that you are worth it and you deserve all of that. The universe does not see you the way that you see yourself. We know, we know that you are eternal essence. We know who you are and we know We know that you deserve way more than you allowing yourself to experience. We see you as nothing less than miraculous. If you only know yourself as we know you, you will have no doubt. That heaven and earth are here to support you. If you be for yourself, then nothing, absolutely nothing, can stop you. That is how much you are supported. Feel that. Feel that in your heart. Integrate. 
integrate your own magnificence. Who are you to deserve the support of heaven and earth? Who are you indeed? You are the only one Integrate this support. Integrate your own magnificence. Integrate the love that you are. And we are here as your mirror to support you. Because we know you. We know the real, authentic you. And we support you to know yourself, to know your own magnificence, your own brilliance. Your own greatness, your own light that if it were visible, it would be as blinding as the midday sun. And we see that light. We feel Magnificence. Our wish is for you to know that too. And we love you. And we thank you for this opportunity to share with you the authentic being that we see, that we know. Thank you, thank you, thank you.